scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The Bible is a prophetic book. You can make it preach anything you want. That it is in the Bible does not mean it is of God. The part in the Bible that resonates with God's character is the word of God. Are we together now? So I look at this. What God may be revealing to me, listen, is that there is a problem. It is true that there may be a problem in this woman's life. It could be hereditary. It could be an operation of darkness that Satan is trying to bring. It may not even have anything to do with her directly. That has an effect on his marriage. But because I do not understand it, I destroy this dear lady's life. Embarrass her in the presence of everybody. A business partner let's assume she's doing poultry a business partner that wants to make order of 500 chickens will cancel that thing after that prayer why will you want a witch to to bring chickens for you so that you're, you're, you you understand that kind of thing it's not easy to be a witch let me tell you this let me tell you this listen 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 don't go and study occultism but let me be honest with you the condition to be a witch this witch that we talk about and with witchcraft and wizardry in its in its most acute form is not something a human being can just become like that the condition to be a witch is the condition to receive the mark of the beast please help the person under the anointing so this dear lady now imagine that she's your choir mistress and you are a choir member will you listen to her again when you went for the program and you saw what happened and the worst part of it is if i now touch her and she falls down ah that's it that's the final proof that this woman is a, and then the devil now starts using her face to oppress members are you seeing now just like some of you see the faces of innocent people and get up and hate them for nothing and the devil plays with your not understanding the word of god it's a rightly dividing the word. Jesus looks at Peter. Watch this. Peter just finished confessing that he was the son of God. And then Peter talks to Jesus. No, 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 no. Will you go to the cross? And he looks at him and says, Get thee behind me, Satan. And Peter is looking at him. And Jesus understood that if he left Peter like that, Peter may not have been an apostle. Peter would have been depressed to death. After three years of working with you, you call me a devil and say, no, 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 Peter, let me explain to you. That's what every man of God should do. Now that you have rebuked because of your spirit, intelligence must come in. He said, Satan desired to sift you. Satan and you are two different people. Desire to sift you like wheat. All that shout was not hatred for you. I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen your brethren. Are you seeing that now? That's why you can see people manifest. Sometimes they are manifesting, receiving impartations. Other times they are manifesting and demons and, and all of that. We thank God for that spiritual intelligence here that's why people can get up manifesting and not feel bad and not feel like the whole world is against them are we together now thank you god bless you prophecy 
must submit to the word of God for it to be accurate when prophecy becomes emotional when it becomes cultural when it becomes just a raw delivery of everything seen in the realm of the spirit it becomes a weapon of mass destruction the purpose of prophecy is for edification for exhaustion exhortation and for comfort prophecy does not condemn prophecy does not destroy even when god spoke to the prophets in the old testament he would always tell them what to do Nineveh, i'm about to destroy you people and this is what will happen however they declared a fast and the mercy of god came in remember the bible says the lord is full of grace the lord is gracious and compassionate right full of love i mean how did he put it now um rich in love the lord is merciful and compassionate he's rich in love his mercies are new every morning those of us here who are seeing visions having dreams document these things and seek guidance first especially when you are beginning to walk in the gifts of the spirit be careful don't authoritatively go and meet people they have a lot of respect for you and they will listen to everything i am careful when i speak to people because even when i joke they don't take it lightly i can be joking with somebody and say ah god bless you and the person wants to kneel down and i'm saying i'm a human being this is not anointing i'm joking just joking with you and you see the thing about the anointing is every time there is a demand whether you are joking or not that person can now fall down now embarrass me there and make it look as if you know i hardly have people to play with it's a very this this anointing sometimes is a very your life can be very very lonely someone sees you are trying to smile and the person is already believing that maybe it's, it's a word from god i am a human being jesus ate corn in the farm on sunday remember jesus was with a woman and they were talking i mean please and i think some of us is some of us men of god that make this happen you know the way we spiritualize it and make it look as if you are in the spirit every time it's a lie it's a lie it's a lie the bible says walking in the spirit yes but it's not in the character of you can't smile you can't do anything you feel bad if if i am angry and i slap david dam's head I should just say sorry i shouldn't make it look as if it's the holy spirit that made me do it no this is i'm a human being i was carried away i got emotional and touched his head i'm a human being jesus was angry did he say it was the holy spirit who made him angry no prophecy but we need it now the last thing i'll say about prophecy before we move on is the fact that you must never resent it the resentment we have for prophecy we have mixed the baby and the bad water and thrown it away there are two dimensions of prophecy there is the revelatory dimension of prophecy there is the creative dimension of prophecy the revelatory dimension has to do with insight and information about people situations nations like jeremiah the creative dimension of prophecy is when you have the word of god alongside the grace for performance when the prophet said by this time tomorrow he was not revealing he was creating are we together now we must desire it the church that rejects the prophetic is going to be in trouble prophecy is very important a man's life can change overnight because of prophecy we have there are many of us if only we embrace the ministry of prophecy we would have left this realm left the current dimensions that we are, we are in but we've been grounded because of a cynicism the moment you see someone saying the lord is ah please all you this stupid especially if he's a young man that's why they see everybody they mix join all of us together and just throw all of us and make it look as if we're all demons no no hallelujah nothing happens in the earth realm until prophecy announces it nothing happens in the earth realm until prophecy announces it 
nothing happens in the earth realm until prophecy announces it prophecy is not just a revelation it's an authorization for spiritual things to find expression all through scripture you see angels bringing messages and heralding them before those occurrences begin to happen let's go to the next gift faith there is the law of faith an operation of faith there is the spirit of faith there is the gift of faith what is the gift of faith an unusual ability to believe God an unusual ability to believe God that is higher and greater than your current world level higher and greater than your level of spiritual exposure there are times because you see generally speaking your faith level is proportionate to the level of the word of God that is in you your level of understanding of scripture and the ways of God is commensurate to your faith there are certain challenging situations in your life in leadership there are times that you need to bring certain realities from the realm of the spirit that is higher and bigger than your personal work with God at that point you don't just need the law of faith you need the gift of faith the gift of faith is always short-lived because under that influence of the gift of faith anything uttered will come to pass it is the reason why God does not leave people to work with it for a long time because our unrenewedness will destroy people's lives the gift of faith is the operation of the faith of God not faith in God the very faith of God working in a human vessel the faith that created the heavens and the earth not the word of God the very faith of God an impartation of that faith to help you command realities that otherwise will not come that's why the gift of faith works peri with the working of miracles there are certain situations that are challenging higher than you do not even understand the dynamics of that result as it is but the gift of faith comes upon you the character of the gift of faith is unusual courage and audacity unusual courage it has happened to many of us in the place of prayer fear takes you to the place of prayer and you are praying and prophesying praying and all of a sudden an ability comes upon you and you begin to speak and say audacious things not even caring who is listening later when you hear what you say even you you are embarrassed by it it's a sign that you are not the one who said it i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ tomorrow by nine o'clock a helper is appearing and your neighbor is watching you say hey, hey, hey i just gave this guy one spaghetti and this that's not you because I, let me tell you how you know that's not you by 12 30 you will sit down and say hey, why did i now embarrass myself you call it an embarrassment because your your original faith level has returned now and you are seeing that that faith level cannot accommodate that level of miracle but god had to move through you and truly you will see that a miracle will happen that's why you give him glory when it happens when they say man of god you quickly turn and say god is you one of the hallmark of the apostolic ministry is the gift of faith the gift of faith daring things by the gift that's why those who are called in the apostolic ministry if they don't allow the holy spirit work on them usually they are very very arrogant very outspoken sometimes very sarcastic it's a side effect that comes with the office your intimacy with the holy spirit is a secret to correcting it so that i work in an apostolic office and i am arrogant and sarcastic and outspoken and some of these wrong things i may say it is how it is no your work with the holy spirit was designed to correct it it's like you are cooking in the kitchen the moment you put i i don't i don't have any business with the kitchen but i'm just saying what i remember i know that when you put palm oil in a hot pot what happens there's a side effect the whole kitchen and maybe the neighboring environment it can be choking does that mean you should stop the cooking people are hungry they are waiting for the meal but then you have to create a way of managing it so 
most times before women will start they will do it outside or they will open the window in advance that's how you work you must create a system with god to cover for the side effect that that operation comes you don't choke people and say you are you are boiling palm oil no if i keep insulting pastor alpha stupid you are crazy you are you are you are, you are a stupid person and then i say it is the anointing no it is not the anointing it is the effect of the anointing um yes but then the unrenewed part of me mixing with the anointing is what produces that outcome it can be corrected hallelujah that's why when paul finished giving us an exegesis of all the gifts of the spirit he said i show you a more excellent way a more excellent way of administering the gifts that if they do not work by love you are not operating the more excellent way are we together every one of us here will require this gift if you must get results in your life a day will come when your faith level cannot take the kind of miracles you need the urgency around it will require the gift of faith there are times you see during the miracle service i'm just walking and looking at people and i know that ah this situation is very challenging sometimes the people are waiting for me to come please help that person under the anointing and then the person can just whisper sorry sir i have hiv and this hiv self is not just me me my wife and my child you don't have to tell everybody now you are standing there or someone is saying he has tuberculosis and he's coughing in in your coughing before your face and you are inhaling the thing if this thing is not working in you you do this for five years the probability of catching tuberculosis is 100 percent 100 percent that's why we tell people to work with god before they begin to move in certain levels of ministry it's not pride you will if i've been faking this thing by now you will see it it would destroy you one day because you are laying hands on people it's not this laying on of hands is not something you do just because you are anointed that's why sometimes you see me pray for these people before we allow them to go it's not it's not some man of god thing you are contending spirits you can carry problems you have no business carrying leave someone land upon your life you finish that service you go back have you not seen people who minister to the sick and what was on them the person went back to sleep um, one leg did not he didn't he could not lift one leg again that boomerang effect i believe in the gift of faith let me submit to you that where god has brought us by his grace in this ministry is an operation of the gift of faith there was a year let me tell you a little story there was a year when early that year before koinonia will start god gave an instruction that we should carry every one naira in this ministry and sow it as a seed one week to koinonia resuming i can't remember which of the years was that everything i said god everything now let me tell you, you better make sure that that gift is working in your life because that's suicidal not that you should carry a sizable seed and go and give empty everything close everything and i did it foolishly and stupidly i submit to you in less than seven days more than ten times that amount return it's faith you need it some of us right now you wrote your exams humanly speaking you are not going to graduate one you wrote nonsense two you didn't finish you need the gift of faith you need the gift of faith are we together yes there are wicked supervisors ready to make sure they frustrate you how about getting a job you keep carrying your certificate to everybody say sorry we don't need what you studied and at a point you feel bad and say is it my fault that i studied this one day while you are praying the gift of faith comes on you and you make declarations by the spirit all of a sudden someone calls you you need it 
it is given to help believers our families many of us our families are in a mess we need the operation of this gift to correct things you see that lady that testified that was what was working in her the dear lady that said she went home gather your relatives what if it doesn't work do you know what it, you can be stupid by yourself but to gather relatives who are not born again and then it doesn't work Abba. the gift of faith when you have plan b it is your faith when there is no plan b it is the gift of if i perish that's what was on esther when she was on her way going to meet ahasuerus the destiny of the nation of israel was at stake and she entered if i perish ask her to say it after that time she won't be able to say it again hallelujah that was the grace that was at work in moses when moses went before god he said why are you crying to me moses said what is all this two million people are shouting these guys are going to kill me you don't know how hard how how hard hardened and hearted they are and god says go and and part the rivers theologically historically speaking um historians tell us that it's not like the river parted and they told people now walk do you know the miracles that happened there even if the river parted there's going to be space on the ground are you going to jump down won't you die so the ground had to lift and come up to where they were for them to be able to walk through it and moses took his rod stood before two point something million people and said people the egyptians you see today that's the spirit of faith I speak to someone or oh, the Egyptians you see today in the name of Jesus Christ after this meeting you will see them no more forever I say it again the Egyptians you see today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ whose faith is at work here you will see them no more after today please sit down the gift of faith a man of God true story many of you will know him pastor Korede Komaya um, I think it was Bishop Aremu's wife Bishop Aremu's wife she, she you know they have twins and she was sitting with the man's wife and then looked at him and said ah you said how many children do you have and she I think she had just maybe one or two then and she looked at her and carried her uh what is this thing ladies tie their head tie and threw it on her and said take twins joe that was it the woman got pregnant twins gave birth that's not guess that's not guess when you see it happen sometimes i see it happen i'm surprised somebody can come and while he's talking and giving every long explanation apostle this is happening it's like prophecy i don't even know when it comes out of my mouth i just say it is done and you see the person living disappointed you didn't even wait for me to finish i struggled i joined the line i humbled myself what is all this let me express and then the person goes back and things change the gift of faith is powerful are we blessed the gift of healing jesus i wish i had time to dwell on this maybe we'll take another series next year what is notice that the bible does not say the gift of healing he said the gift g-i-f-t-s the gifts of healing what is it the ability to bring physical and emotional healing to people the ability to supernaturally bring physical and emotional healing you know years ago i really used to laugh at white people when i see all of them every little thing they cry every little thing they cry how did you get here and she's trying to explain just that there was a delay with taxi and then she starts crying they give her a hunger they say, what sort of human beings are this i mean just anything makes them cry men women but as i grew in leadership i found out that emotional brokenness is worse than physical sickness the bible says a broken spirit dry at the bones there is a way a man can be emotionally devastated and die not by any physical sickness are we together emotional wounds are created because of words and circumstances they are more hurtful if i slap you and the sign of my hand is on your face 
it won't reach two days that thing will disappear correct but if i speak something negative about your life you can hold that word for 10 years and it will not leave you is that true the same thing how many of you have seen people with diabetes and you see an injury that will not heal it looks like it will not and that's exactly what happens to the spirits of people hence the ministry of people like joyce mayer and all of this you can look at them and feel ah no falling down no shouting i tell you the truth they are doing a major healing ministry 95 percent of africans before age 15 have been raped by wicked words from the ones who called you stupid to the one who called you idiot to your teacher who said you will have a big head you are dull to the mistakes you made to the fact that you were the oldest person in your class baba class four you don't know those things were affecting you a broken spirit you get to school and everybody's harassing you people look at you and say i hope you know you're a very ugly lady i'm sorry i have to just tell you my mind and the person thinks he's being bold those that accumulation demon spirits find a safe haven in that mindset and it destroys you and you find out anything god tells you you just look at him and say god use somebody those kinds of words are reflections of emotions that have been broken that's why worship like this creates that kind of healing you can raise a song and while everybody is laughing only one person is crying that person is getting healed at the end of it is like it. you know how you bath someone just feels light feels i have been healed from this i have counseled people and i am amazed at the things people go through and yet they still smile and walk there are people if they give you half of the emotional load on their head it will kill you instantly yet they are carrying it and saying hallelujah praise the lord ah the bible says rejoice not over me my enemies there are many of our parents when they lost their last job they never got another one again do you know why because the way they disgraced them and drove them out of that company it was so embarrassing and they said i can't i can't do this to myself again sir but you are a phd holder no i rather remain poor after 10 years how about those who but please don't feel bad those who marriage did not work for have you seen people like that and after 20 years you tell them it's okay now i think you can get back i know okay maybe your wife died or something happened and they tell you look the memory is still as fresh as yesterday have you seen people say i will never forgive you till jesus comes that's what emotional devastation can do there are people here as i'm talking god is healing you from this because let me tell you it's a luggage oh i was raped when i was two years i was raped when i was five years the house boy that worked for us raped me some of us were raped by our own parents sadly are we together and you grow and those things are still in your mind i can never make it you wrote why 10 times jam 11 times there is no understanding of favor so every time we say god is favoring people you don't look and say is it me you are talking to no. healing if you are not healed and god ever gives you an opportunity to be a leader you will judge everything from the template of your emotional wounds if someone laughs at you you say why are you laughing at me because you remember that that's how they laughed at you to mock you the person was laughing rejoicing with you but your cynicism you see that your wife just looks and says, ah my husband my husband and say please i don't like disrespect i say ah my husband again i've told you uh, this is how my mother did this is, uh, must everybody know i'm the last one it's not about that situation there is something that has created a wound in you are we together there are some of you they use all kinds of words you had nicknames ugly nicknames and cliches some of you used to urinate in secondary school or primary school although you were it was a situation that required prayer and the adults there did not have spiritual intelligence to help and this i remember that time 
they will gather the person who is easy himself and sing songs and dance dance around dance and the person who the person will start like this with your bed sheet that you who urinated what a way of destroying people don't ever do that to anybody how about brothers that blast ladies you are not fine you are not this and they say i i i, I gave it to her well, how about the ladies that blast a guy she blasted him in 99 till now he has not approached any lady every time he wants to go that wound god is bringing deliverance in the name of jesus christ but there is a physical healing there is the physical healing the healing ministry is needed more than ever before i was listening to benny Hinn not too long before i came and you know i hear him read these healing scriptures and i am touched we need to bring the healing power of god back to the church i tell you this there's too much there is very little of genuine healing not everybody's in a wheelchair but let me tell you there are people who need physical healing physical healing how god acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power and the bible says he went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed healing oppressed healing oppressed every sickness is an oppression from headache to your hair falling to all of this i remember i think it was in mina or so when i saw a very touching miracle a gentleman that has never smelled anything in his life doesn't know how you put perfume he just looks at you you know what a bad way to live what of those who don't hear well what of those who don't see well all kinds of sicknesses The first time I would pray for a lady years ago and the lady told me she had no womb. I don't mean something was wrong. No womb. Anybody that doesn't believe in miracles, don't argue with the person. The day the doctor cannot help you, I promise you, you must believe. I believe in the healing power of Jesus. Or a robot will say this every day of his life. I am called to bring the healing power of Jesus to the nations. He believed it. Are we together? There are people here seated looking at me who have all kinds of things. Incurable diseases. Every time a medical predicament defies drugs and medical attention, then there is a spirit behind it. Are we together now? Yes. And let me say something about the gift of healing most people have been indoctrinated in the church to hate doctors and hate medicine i will never teach that you will never hear me teach that i believe in divine health i believe in all of this but day and night we're taking people to the hospital to take care of them we have lots of doctors here a few of them will be doctors by next week or week after next and all of that we we have a lot of our doctors yes you, you actually can clap i mean it's not all of them smiling already they will come and dance before god here to the shame of the devil so please don't get into this resentment i can't take drugs you are about dying just panadol will solve that problem now of course there are times that you stretch your faith if you stretch it and it doesn't seem to work take the panadol cure yourself and keep studying the word there is a realm of divine health i believe that are we together but we must never stigmatize people so you see people secretly buying drugs they buy malaria drugs they run and take injection for five days and come and hold the mic and say in the last 10 years i've not even taken paracetamol let's 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 be honest let's fear god jesus is called the great physician 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 say is there no balm in gilead praise god I believe in medicine and when you pray for people especially over a sensitive case don't stop them from taking their normal medication when they become healed medicine will confirm it are we together now especially 
for maybe HIV patients or people with some terminal diseases there are many pastors who have killed innocent people they prayed for the HIV patient for instance and said do you believe yes stop taking your antiretroviral drugs and the person was very fine but now after four or five months you find out that the person started emanciating and the person died when you pray for someone and it does not work please take the person to the hospital if you yourself are sick and you've prayed and prayed and nothing works you can still be declaring the word of god medicine is still a miracle you don't talk to the drug you swallow it the drug finds where your problem is the whole pharmacology behind that drug is a miracle so don't don't act as if you didn't tell the drug come to my ears you just swallowed it it's a miracle by god's grace we will never discourage people we have a first aid box as a ministry if someone collapses now under the anointing and all of that there is if he needs medical attention there are doctors here who will attend to him let's be responsible these are the things that try to make those who walk in power look like fools because we we keep killing people every day destroying people and not stopping you know stopping people from medical attention i don't do that tonight i believe that god is going to bring his healing power again to someone i believe in the ministry of healing i have been a victim of sickness so i know the relevance of healing i've shared with you my testimony when i had a fungal infection that ate my head pastor completely ate everything here you won't see one and it was just wounds everywhere i know the rejection that sickness brings I buy puff puff for people they won't collect it because my hand touched it even if I washed it in their presence can stigmatize you how about the woman with the issue of blood there are people living examples like that I remember praying for a lady who would bleed non-stop for sometimes like three or four months this lady can stand and be dizzy and just collapse like pass out We need to bring the healing power of God to people. We need to let them see the power of God in their lives. The devil is afflicting people with all kinds of sicknesses. And tonight in the name of Jesus is someone's night. The last gift of the spirit and then we will pray. The walking of miracles. What is the walking of miracles? The ability to bring about supernatural results supernatural occurrences that are above the laws of nature the ability to produce supernatural results above and beyond the laws of nature the working of miracle defies process there is no process with the working of miracles now life is a process but the working of miracles what happened in samaria was a working of miracles by this time tomorrow the economy of a nation will completely changed there are many of us who need miracles a healing is a miracle when it is instant when a healing is instant it's called a healing miracle miracles are not just limited to human bodies finances jesus performed that operation he said go and catch a fish open the mouth pick money out that's the working of miracles are we together now yes i believe in the working of miracles i've seen it happen in my life i've seen it happen in the ministry the multiplication of five loaf and two fish that was not just divine supply that was the working of miracles what of the the fish that they caught master we have toiled all night nevertheless at thy word and then he said cast your net to the right side and they caught so much fish they had to beckon on their partners what of ezekiel 37 restoration is a miracle bones that have gone and then the bible says something that always intrigues me when i read it it says bone was joined to its bone meaning no bone made a mistake every bone located the right one miracles 
someone is here and is in need of a miracle you are not sick in your body but there is a situation in your life that needs the intervention of god's hand if you go through the normal course of the law of process you may never be able to catch up restoration is one of those aspects in a man's life that requires the gift of the working of miracles and i will restore to you the years can years be restored i thought it's just material things that can be restored but god says no not with me when i can walk a miracle the bible talks about zion giving birth in one day that have you ever heard this he said as soon as zion travails she shall put forth her son let me tell you i want you to get ready for strange occurrences in your life things that will happen you will know that this is only god they will say but i know it took 10 years to build the house and you say my brother i was sitting down like this and a key came to me miracles the bible never said mary was pregnant for nine months no sir the angel never told mary according to the time of life it was never said that pregnancy was nine months miracles the nation of israel 430 years captivity in one night he said they chased them they didn't even allow their bread to rise they said please get out of this place are we together the lord has declared that this is a year of triumph let me tell you this i truly believe in restoration and i believe in speed pastor femi come pastor alpha come let me show you something very quickly and then we'll pray please stand here gentlemen just stand close to me watch this if pastor femi and pastor alpha are making progress in life this is them walking is that true and then something keeps pastor alpha down are you seeing pastor femi is moving forward now now pastor alpha start walking slowly this is progress not restoration restoration means he must be here because this was his original place now let me tell you what this miracle does it picks you and puts you so that if they check your life they cannot see where the delay was so when god says i will restore he didn't say i will release the force so that you make progress no sir there are many of us at your age there are things that should have happened what you need is not progress you need restoration restoration this gift of the spirit is a strange operation of the spirit where people's lives can change overnight overnight god can give speed oh god can bring his word to pass in people's lives he said rejoice not over me my enemies oh the fact that i lost my job and you are seeing me and my wife we are just moving around and i'm not eating anything you are laughing but the day this god arises in 24 hours 24 hours i've seen god do things in my life that has brought tears tears in my eyes i said god so this is what you can do some of you have never been surprised by god there is a way god will do something your first cry is not the miracle is how it happened god i've always heard that you can move like this but this one that you have done it to me no lord i fear you he said he does these things that men will fear him when he does it he signs his signature on your life i am god jabez was a man who was born in sorrow the mother cursed him because of the pain he caused her and jabez said oh that thou wouldest enlarge me god even if you release me to start moving forward now when will i make it let me tell you we need speed in nigeria everything is against a young man's establishment everything if you are a ministry you need this gift in your life otherwise you will be in trouble nobody will give you chair nobody will give you canopy nobody will give you money if you don't know how to command miracles please help that person under the anointing there by the power of God. there are situations tonight that need to hear the word of the lord god is a miracle walker 
God is a glorious God is God is I know you are some miracle in my life Lord God is a glorious just sing it one more time to build faith in your heart my God is is a miracle Miracle walker, your glorious God. One more time, say God is. He's a miracle, a miracle walker, a glorious God. There is hope for a tree. Even if it be cut, there is hope. There is hope. Apostle, at my age, I've not even gotten admission. My brother, there is hope. This God, in God's economy, one plus one is not two. Oh. One plus one is any answer he gives. Any answer. One plus one can be a car. What is the relationship between alphabets and car? The word of God. One plus one can be breakthrough. God can carry a man's lifetime achievement and give you in one month. Listen, this is not some get rich quick things. I don't encourage people to be irresponsible, but I'll be a stupid person to tell you I don't believe God can change people's lives overnight. Look at this ministry. Look at my life. Whoever told you God cannot arise for people. Listen, if you don't believe what I'm teaching you, you will struggle in your life as if God is not. The part of scripture you believe is the part that works for you. Are we together? Listen. If you are married and three years you've not had a child, or four years you have not had a child, if you have one child, that's a testimony, but that's not yet your portion. If you have twins, you have covered ground. That's restoration. I hear what I'm saying. If you graduated 2000 and let's say six, and by 2015, you cannot even rent a house. If they give you a job with 100,000, that's not yet your portion. Ah, that's not your portion. Come on now. How can that be your portion? When somebody gets up and says, I'm going abroad my house my car and the payment of the school fees i've left the lord say i should give you that's your portion now god is called the god of portions i know this about him righteousness and justice 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 she came to him and said avenge me my enemies the man neither feared god nor men but because she impersonated him listen let me tell you when i begin to pray and make demands over things in my life i don't spare i say god i'm not where i should be oh i'm not where i should be no i'm moving forward thank you but you said i will restore you didn't say i will make progress are we together yes that's how to pray Lord, as a lady, I plan marrying 22, I'm 32. I can't just marry and continue. You are going to find a way of carrying me. Shabakatos, lekota sabriata katoshiata. Hallelujah. Lord, I would have gotten a job in 2010. The man said I should sleep with him and get the job. But because of you, I refuse. Now it's 2017. I'm seven years. My payroll is seven years. Where is the window of heaven? I place that demand. And brothers and sisters, you will see God do things that they will think you held a charm. The God that we serve. The working of miracles. God is truly a miracle worker. I've seen him change people's lives. I've seen him step into families. This year, God has done things in my life that brought tears in my eyes. I said, God, what is this? Can you allow God use your life to reveal his name? 
the names of God are a revelation of his possibilities there are names you are just calling but you have never really seen it listen early this year I taught on the gifts of men that thing was not a message it's a, it's a fearful dimension of God that God brought me into where men stand up to solve your problems as if you charm them there is a grace that makes that happen you will never listen there are some miracles that if they have not happened in your life you will never have time to serve God let's tell ourselves the truth some of you have served God 10 years you are still begging for bread allow God to step in and do something for you you don't need you what you need is more than a job you need God to sign his name in your life how much is a job how much is hundred thousand you now have five children be honest will hundred thousand bless them when one child's monthly school fees is more than a hundred thousand you need the gift of the walking of miracles the wine finished in a feast the gift of miracles is a cure for embarrassment cure for embarrassment the wine finished and they went to him he said fill six pots alas master it was borrowed he needed the gift of miracles every time your life is in a point of embarrassment that's the gift you need that's the gift you need that's the gift you need i don't know how to make you believe this thing we are going to pray brothers and sisters before i begin to minister to us please i beg you listen listen i want you to be angry at your current level and say lord this is not what i agreed me and you this in the secret place i am not ungrateful but this is not our agreement by our agreement the level of grace i should be working in now your gift this is not the agreement lift your voice and pray bring forth your strong reasons the gifts of the spirit are the platforms to experience his possibilities you reign you reign hello hallelujah I have to stop here so that we can pray 
I'm supposed to teach you how to receive the gift, but just leave it. We'll take it another time. We have to pray. This thing I've said, I'm angry in my spirit. We have to pray. There, there are doors that we must force to open now. There are doors that we must force to open. Let me tell you, listen, listen. If you keep following your life casually, you will never get some breakthroughs. He said, right from the days of John the Baptist and until now, the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence will take it by force. Lift your voice and open your mouth. Announce things that must happen this night. Lord, you gave gifts to men. Hey, your majesty. Your majesty, 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 Shabakata Labotasia, Lakatakatakatakata, Praska, the Barakoto Shop, your majesty, your majesty, your majesty, your majesty, your majesty. Majesty, your majesty, your majesty, your majesty, your majesty, your majesty, your majesty. He said, I will walk a walk in your days that if you were told, you will not believe it. I will walk a walk. There is something I want to do in your life. There is something I want to do in your life, in your family. I'd like you to pray one minute. Lord, I believe you all. I believe you. I believe you. Don't let the devil tell you you're wasting your time. Blessed is she that believes. Blessed is she that believes. Visit my finances, oh God of heaven. This is my family. hallelujah hallelujah listen I want us to pray no matter what has left your life call it back call it back lift your voice and pray whether it's money that left your life call it back joy call it back even God who quickened the dead and call it those things call it those things call it those things call it back sakata parato shekete those outside make sure you are praying those following online pray call it back by the spirit of faith by the gift of faith we call back opportunities we call back graces we call back mantles we call back dimensions
Alleluia. Alleluia. I want you to pray just before I pray for us. I'm releasing my faith with you. I don't know what God told you should have happened and you have not seen it. I'd like you to insist now and say, God, I've not forgotten. I bring you to remembrance. Early this year, you told me, Lord, you told me I will be laughing by October. I'm not yet laughing. I place a demand. I put pressure on your integrity. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Place a demand. You said it. You can do it. You said it. You will make it happen. It is within your power. Shabakata praskana mato sebre gere gere mo. Ente ke te ke te ke te. Reke te koto shoto preketa. Leke ta paskata bara koto shobre. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. Listen. My Bible says, withhold not good to him that it is due when it is within your power to give. The Bible said it. Don't withhold good. He said, do not say unto him, come today, come tomorrow, where you can do it now. Say, Lord, now faith, now faith. I place a demand. Why wait tomorrow when it can happen now? It is within your power. It is within your power. Change my life now. I place a demand. Cry out for your finances. Cry out for your life. Abarato soto kabaradash. Lekata kata kata prasana balana balana bush. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. I want you to believe God is giving people things as I'm talking. Listen, you won't cry forever. There is a God that is alive. I want you to believe this. I'm saying it, you won't cry forever. I come with an anointing in this place. I come with the anointing that follows this office. You won't cry forever. There is a God that is alive. 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 Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family before the end of August four people getting a job the end of October four one two three four I'm declaring it I'm declaring it it will happen to a family four people within two weeks a supernatural door that embargo of witchcraft is broken now that embargo of witchcraft is broken now I release the grace that makes this happen in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the Lord is showing me someone we may not have time to call but you were saving up money to buy something i don't know if it's a car or land and god gave you an instruction to sow the money you sold the money and shared with somebody and the person insulted you and called you stupid and the lord is saying i'm seeing a date in the end november 21 the lord is saying between now and that time 
as surely as the Lord lives he's giving you a strange miracle a strange miracle November 21 a strange miracle in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know what has refused to produce in your life there are some of us you are laboring but the truth is nothing is working there is a spirit of hardship i told you hardship is not poverty poverty is part of hardship it's a subset of hardship when that spirit comes even if they make you a director one million will not bless you it's the spirit of hardship you cannot exactly tell what you are doing with the money you just know that every time there is a need you don't have is a spirit what you need is not promotion what you need is the blessing of the lord to take away that thing i'm speaking over someone's life i don't know whose life has been like that but in the name of jesus christ and by the power of the holy spirit i decree and declare that embargo of hardship over your life leaves you now it leaves you now now i'm stretching my hands i'm praying for people this speed i want it to come on your life there is a grace for speed ah look i'm seeing smoke just rising from the altar right down in the name of jesus i stretch my hands and i declare speed speed step into dimensions of accomplishment speed overflow one overflow two overflow three those outside speed the main goal here speed i command it now any area in your life where you have not been moving forward speed in the name of jesus i command speed i command speed i command speed receive it i command speed i don't care the way things have been i'm speaking in speed to your business speed speed is an anointing let it come on you now supernatural speed to your life speed in the name of jesus i release speed i release speed i release speed i release speed hear me the bible says ye have compassed this mountain long enough there are people where you are let me tell you there is there are spirits keeping you there where you are is a mockery to yourself and to your god in the name of jesus this fire that i see in the spirit let it land on whoever must move forward now let it land on whoever must move forward now i prophesy it in the name of jesus the lord god whom i serve and whose i am i command speed i move your life to another dimension to draw from you again again we've come to draw, draw. Shade God is saying, I should tell you, tell your husband is the season for him to rise. I'm seeing your husband by the end of this month entering a level of strange breakthrough. Strange breakthrough. Strange breakthrough. This is what I'm seeing. Strange breakthrough that God is bringing for him. Strange breakthrough that God is bringing for him. Strange breakthrough. There is a man of God here. I don't know who that person is. But I'm seeing a strange grace for healing. Coming on a man of God. There is someone. I don't know where. But may the spirit of God find that person now. A strange anointing for healing. You will see dimensions of healing miracles happen in your life and ministry. In a way that will surprise you. Strange operations of the spirit. hallelujah the lord is showing me a very strange vision i'm seeing people running i'm seeing a rope 
I'm seeing them running. When they're about to jump a fence, the rope pulls them down. This is what I'm seeing. It will not stop you for provided you are inside the place. But to jump the fence, the rope stops you. Where are they, oh God? I cut that rope. I release you. Break those boundaries. What stop your father? What stop your mother? I command that it will not stop you. Shakatatata. Rekete koto sheketa. Reketa lava shupasia. Raposo to seketiata. In the mighty name of Jesus. I decree, I decree, I decree. An end comes to it tonight. By the operation of the spirit. Limitations are breaking. Limitations are breaking. Sisters, ladies, limitations are breaking. Limitations are breaking. Tribal limitations. Territorial limitations. I command you to break now. Hallelujah. We'll soon round up. Am I wasting your time? I'm seeing a vision and I'm seeing many people with bodies but no heads no faces every time I see this that means someone's glory has been covered this is what the Lord when I see those kinds of they come in different forms but because you see the head of a man not just the hair represents the center of glory when you see a human being walking and no head there is no structure there is no I, I, I don't know how to pray this prayer now but I need to pray for somebody I don't know what has come you are alive you, you will pass your destiny helper he will act like he's not seeing you there's something covering it is not normal it's not normal it doesn't take so much for men to help you but brothers and sisters when it is covered you can remain there forever buy an instrument and cover it it is still as good as you don't have it because until it is open i don't know what has stopped you from appearing no job no increase no promotion no joy no peace when people want to help you something happens Some of us here, the suffering you are suffering is, is not supposed to be. What has covered you? In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I decree and I declare to you tonight by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I command that embargo many of you will feel like fire on your face literally like fire on your face there is a veil that is being torn i tear that veil right now please help them i tear that veil right now in the name of jesus christ i declare to you arise and shine arise and shine i prophesy it arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine Listen, when the word of God comes like this, before you believe a man, find out his track record. Don't waste your time believing something that does not work. The Bible says we have not taught you cunningly devised fables. Let me tell you the truth. God has given me a grace for performance. There is nobody I speak to over a thing except he did not believe it. It will come to pass, no matter what it is god gave me the revelation it's called the key of david you can open a door and the spirit will shut it but he said i am he that was dead but now is alive and i hold the key of david and he can open a door that no man no man the only person that can shut it is the one who opened it when i got that revelation because i can speak over people and something will happen and the devil will shut it back the key of david is a real key access to open possibilities and 
Elisha had Elisha had it. He opened a man's eyes at once and said, Look at them. You see, what makes men great is not their bodies, but the mysteries. The mysteries. Mysteries are like portals, they open you to possibilities. So these things don't just have it's not just anointing. No, this is more than anointing. Every closed door over anyone's life here in the name of Jesus Christ the God of heaven the revealer of secrets and mysteries I command that door to open and remain open open and remain open open and remain open in the name of Jesus Christ The kind of favor you have never seen in your life may the God I serve release that favor on your life in the name of Jesus Christ release that favor on your life let me round up with this last impartation open your heart to receive Romans chapter 1 verse 11 for I long to see you it is my desire to see you why to the end that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift one of the ways that we receive spiritual gift is through impartation impartation is a transference of possibilities it's not a transference of anointing necessarily it's a transference of possibilities a dimension that was not captured in your work with God there is by the supply of the spirit an opening of that portal that vista that dimension that's what you're about to receive now I want you to receive with all your heart in the name of Jesus I'm seeing water rising from the ground and the Lord is saying this is how the impartation will come like water from the ground rising and I'm seeing Ezekiel 47 the river I decree and I declare right now at the count of three oh Lord inside overflow one two three and all those connected from all the 47 nations of the world i decree and declare right now in the name of jesus let there be a baptism of the gifts of the spirit upon your life receive it right now receive it right now the word of wisdom strange order of wisdom the word of knowledge i release it upon you right now Discerning of spirits, receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The gift of diverse kinds of tongues. And if you are here, you are not filled with the Holy Ghost. As I speak right now, I stretch my hands. May the power of the highest come upon you now. I command utterances, utterances, tongues of men tongues of angels tongues of men tongues of angels in the name of jesus i decree and declare receive the gift of prophecy the eyes that see and the ears that hear i release it now i release it now i stretch my hands and i release upon you the gift of faith supernatural faith receive it right now it's coming like fire on someone's hand receive the gift of faith or that ability or that ability go and do the impossible say the impossible accomplish the impossible i decree and declare this will come on many people the gifts of healing we need it we need it in the name of Jesus especially many ladies this is a dispensation where God will be using a lot of ladies in the healing ministry 
receive that grace right now the healing anointing gifts of healing strange healing healing of cancers healing of hiv diabetes lay your hands command the devils to go is the ability to declare things on bodies or nature whatever manipulate possibilities to square up with the divine counsel of god i release that gift upon your life the working of miracles you will speak over impossible situations you will watch them turn around it will start with your academics it will start with your job it will start with your family in the name of jesus things that should not happen make them happen make them happen things that should never have happened i empower you to make them happen in the name of jesus clear the aisles for them please wherever you are inside outside make your way to the front quickly don't wait for anybody to come be the first come happily come cheerfully let's honor them god bless you someone is running to jesus overflow one two three please run quickly clear the way for them don't say i'm ashamed no come if you're coming please run double up quickly the holy spirit is speaking to you he said in that day if you hear his voice harden not your heart you can choose to harden your heart and go back but someone is saying i'm tired of the way things are in my life i'm running to jesus koinonia let's honor them as they come let's honor them as they come we present to you jesus christ the destiny changer we present to you jesus christ the one who can lift a man out from a dunghill. Keep coming. God bless you. I believe there are still some more people. You're saying, Apostle, I'm not sure if I'm born again or not. Come and join them. Come and join them quickly. Mommy, God bless you. Come and join them quickly. Join them quickly. I'm not sure. I don't know whether I'm born again or not. I just know I've always been to church. No, sir. You must be born again. Join them quickly. If you're coming from outside, please run. I'm about to pray lead the people to pray hallelujah thank you so much some of you are crying don't be ashamed of your tears when you stand before jesus his loving arms will reach out to you and he gives you a new beginning the bible says to remember not the former things nor consider the things of old i want to lead you um it's a simple prayer it's more than a recitation it's a prayer that you are engaging your faith with and you are trusting that the spirit of god himself will confirm it if that gentleman is joining them please double up just come quickly hallelujah i'd like you to say this after me sincerely truthfully and passionately say lord jesus say it again say lord jesus i love you i've experienced your presence tonight and i declare that i'm a sinner in need of your love in need of your mercy in need of your life tonight i make jesus lord of my life genuinely truthfully sincerely i declare that the life of god is in my spirit right now i believe that jesus is my savior i believe that jesus is my lord from today I receive the power to live for Jesus and to live a victorious life in the name of Jesus let me pray for you Jesus we present to you the ones you died for it was for them alongside all of us that you were at the cross I pray in the name of Jesus that the Spirit of God our seal of redemption that he will seal these ones and impart the life and the glory of God in their lives I declare your sins forgiven. I decree and declare that God gives you a new beginning from tonight. In the name of Jesus. The grace that makes for a victorious life. We release it upon you. The love of God. Love for God. Hunger for the things of the kingdom. We release it upon you. I declare that the past, the memory and the effects live like smoke before the wind. In the name of Jesus. And the Lord gives you a new beginning. From today you move forward ever and backward never in jesus name thank you so much for making this 
most noble decision. I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. He will, um, they will get a few details and communicate to you very briefly and you'll be back to your seat. Thank you so much. I love all of you. God bless you. Let's honor them quickly. Let's honor them quickly. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.